what are the early warning signs that your thyroid disease is actually getting worse? This is what we are going to talk about today. Hi, I'm Dr. Anshil Gupta. I'm a thyroid functional medicine expert, help people reverse their thyroid condition. So several people have asked me is that, how do I know if my thyroid is getting better or is getting worse? I am getting blood work every month or every few months and a blood work looks good. Is there any way I can determine whether my thyroid is getting better or worse? So I'm gonna talk about some warning signs that if you have those, then certainly that means that your thyroid is actually getting worse. The first warning signs is that if you're feeling tired or if you're feeling fatigued. Now thyroid is an important hormone which is responsible for making energy. And if you're feeling tired and fatigued, that means your thyroid is not optimally working. And that's the reason you're having this symptom. A lot of people do not understand what tiredness or fatigue means. It basically means is that if the whole day you have to drag, if you feel that your energy is not really good, after the end of the day, when you're done working, you just really feel so tired that you want to lay on the couch or just watch television and you don't feel like doing anything else. Or you're not able to exercise after you're done with work. Or if you do exercise, then you have muscle aches or body aches, or you just feel extremely tired. Or sometimes the, you have, you're so tired that you feel like you, take, you need to take a nap during the day just to function during the day. These are all signs and symptoms that you do have fatigue and tiredness. And these are all signs that your thyroid is not working properly and is actually getting worse. The second warning sign is gut problems. A lot of people start developing constipation or diarrhea or bloating or indigestion feeling or acid reflux feeling, or they alternate between constipation or diarrhea or they get this diagnosis of IBS. All of these signs and symptoms are saying that your gut is not in good shape. Now thyroid hormone is very important for gut health. There are receptors all over your gut. That's where the thyroid hormone gets attached and improves the functioning of the gut. Especially the gut motility is under the control of the thyroid hormone. So if you have constipation or diarrhea or you alternate between constipation and diarrhea, then that is because your thyroid hormone is not functioning properly. Again, I have made another video which tells us that if you do have IBS, the underlying problem for you is your thyroid is not functioning properly. So you see that if you do have these gut issues, that again tells you that your thyroid is not optimized and you are getting worse. The third symptom is if you have hair thinning or if you have hair fall. Now again, thyroid hormone is responsible for proper hair growth and for proper hair health. A lot of people will complain that their hair are thinning or they feel that their hairs are falling more than usual. Some people think it's just age related, but not all the time, especially if you are in your 30s or 40s and if you are losing a lot of hair or your scalp is thinning, the major reason is that your thyroid hormone is not optimized and that needs to be worked at. So that's the third warning sign. The fourth warning sign is mood changes. If you feel anxious one day, if you feel fine the next day, if you feel depressed or if you feel low mood or if you have low motivation, like you wake up in the morning, you just don't feel like doing anything or during the day, the whole day feels draggy. Nothing feels enjoyable to you anymore or you just have this underlying anxiety about each and everything. These are again signs and symptoms that your thyroid is not under control. Now thyroid hormone is responsible for maintaining the chemical balance in your brain. You know, we have serotonin, norepinephrine, dopamine, all of these hormones are responsible in your brain and thyroid hormone affects the level of all of these things. So if you are having all of these mood changes, that means your thyroid hormone is not optimized. And again, that needs to be worked at. The next thing which also tells us is that if you're developing cold intolerances. So if you are sitting in a room where you feel comfortably fine, or if you're feeling awfully cold, while well, other people feel fine. If you are sitting in a hot room where air conditioner is on and you're shivering and everybody else is okay. So that is cold intolerance. And that again is a sign that your thyroid is not functioning properly and that needs to be worked at. The last sign 
that again tells us that your thyroid is not functioning fine is that if you do have menstrual disorders like PCOS or infertility. Now again, thyroid hormone is responsible for maintaining your female hormones like estrogen, progesterone, even testosterone. And imbalance of these hormones is responsible for infertility and PCOS. A lot of females think that, you know, it is related to their female hormones and they never thought that thyroid can actually be the underlying problem in these female hormones. So if you do have these issues ongoing, that again is a reason that your thyroid hormone needs to be optimized and your whole thyroid needs to be looked at. So as you see, these are all warning signs that tells you that your thyroid is not functioning properly and that something needs to be done to help it to get better. I hope that gives you an idea whether your thyroid is functioning good or not. If you like the video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.